You can do anything you set your mind to. Chat? Are you listening, chat? You can do anything you set your mind to. Anything. But the problem is, anything's too abstract, so you'll never choose. How do you vividly get, yeah, how do you vividly see what you're trying to do? How do you go into your goals and your dreams and linger in the desire to, to what, what is the point of lingering in the, lingering in the desire? I want to be a good big time YouTuber who makes a lot of money, let's say. I am a big time YouTuber who makes a lot of money. I feel what it's like. I linger in the feeling, the desire, not in the future or the past, in the now, I walk straighter and I notice this surge of new energy like, I should make a new video today. And that surge of new energy, it's not that motivational spike of 20 minutes. It's something you can stretch out for like six, seven hours of your day. If you're strategic, you can use music, you can use whatever to linger in that desire. Let's say you're a badass YouTuber, you'll play some badass music to get you in the zone. <coughs> or if you're really good, you'll just use your imagination. That's what God put it here for. It's the imagination is like the blueprint to your dreams and the feeling is uh, how much you want to water that dream. So if you have a strong feeling uh, of something you've imagined, you're pumping that seed and it's growing exponentially. If you're in a negative state, if you're a depressed person, you're pumping it with negativity, meaning your dream might come true, you might get rich, but horrific shit will happen because you're not guarding the other parameters of your life, family and health. And for some reason, health has to come before family. Like your, your fa parents have to see a healthy face on their child before you can see a healthy face on your parents, right? Uh, which I've always lived uh, backwards where I think, I'll oh, just take care of my parents and make sure to like check up, check up on their diet and stuff. No, bro, your parents are aging and stressing because your diet is shit. Clean up your diet first. Shit like that. And uh, yeah, so health, family, and career. And it's either all three at once or none. Like if you just focus on family, your family will think you're a loser, your career is weak, and then they stop trusting you. Uh, they don't mean to, but in their unconscious, they feel unsafe because you're not making all that bread and stuff. So yeah, that's like, uh, that's that manifest, manifest your destiny type conversation you guys keep asking for, and I never do it. But I feel like uh, my English language skills are strong enough to explain uh, this kind of esoteric mystery tradition that's lost, uh, that's, uh, that's been uh, blurred from the Bible. But, you know, the Bible says you find the feeling, linger it, have it, it is yours now, and it'll come to you. The problem is most of us think it'll come in the future, which that still happens, but it comes in a worse way, I think. And yeah, and why I love talking about this subject, like, oh, making dreams come true and shit is I don't have a dream left that didn't come true. You know, I can post all my receipts. I can post how much I make. I can post all that to prove to you. Uh, yeah, as soon as I finished like all my big goals, the horrific shit happened to me, right? Yeah. Which it was probably my turn anyway, so. Unresolved karma. You reap what you sow. This is biblical. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, God is great. And I swear to God, you guys are all going to make it. It's the time frame that pisses you off. I don't know when it'll be. And, and I don't have an antidote. If you're angry of, like, when it's your turn, when is it going to be my turn? You know, I was angry too. I don't have an antidote for that. I wish I did, but do whatever you can to get away from that anger. Because there's this thing that happens when... <coughs> You're, uh, you're in the world of creations. Like, you don't create. No one creates anything. God already created everything. You can tune into the frequency of any creation. One where you have, like, a great life, nice girl, money, all that. Or a negative world. Depending on uh, uh, what, how much faith you have in your imagination. Like, let's say Floyd Mayweather. It's like an atheist, right? But he has so much faith in his imagination that he's number one. That God still rewards him. Right? That faith of goodness, that the greater outcome is rewarded big time by God. A lot of people don't get that. It's not just reciting scripture. It's like living in your imagination. Uh, yeah, and I've been like a daydreamer my whole life. 
my life's kind of fucking awesome. I don't say it enough, you know? But it's awesome. And, uh, yeah, most people I meet, they lost, like, the art of daydreaming. So, there you go. Uh, these are official.com for more esoteric truths like this. And uh, everything is video. There's nothing scam. There's no scam component about this stuff. This is just how the world is. It's not just Paracelsus and thousands of other great minds who talked about tuning into... Uh, life is just about switching states, states of mind, and the world changes. Uh, like, if you've ever changed your state of mind to a winner, everything's going good that week, you just bump into someone on the road who offers you an opportunity to get on this podcast or a job. That portal that opened right there is because of that uh, seven-day cycle. It's a seven-day spiritual cycle of positivity. If you could be positive for seven days, you could be positive for 7,000 fucking years, bro.